Taraji, what you not? Two things I am not. Boo Boo the Fool and one of your little <laughs> friends. Peace, bitch. The fuck? Motorsport. Yeah. Put that thing in sports. Shout it bad. Pop it like a court. Pop it. You a dork. Never been a sport. Dork. Hey, it's Kunta Kente. What is up, good people? Hello, motherfucker. Okay, so I heard this story a couple days ago, and I really didn't read it through because, you know, we was already going through this whole little situation with the crazies. But um, I started reading the story, and I started listening to the video from the pastor, and... Um, this story really sounds very familiar to a lot of people that mm, like to do the cover up in the church, if y'all know what I mean. So because I have seen this story in church on multiple occasions, not the death part, but this type of situation where the couples look, oh my God, they look so lovely. They look so inviting. You know, I've seen this stuff on a multiple occasions. Um, yeah, it is very sad. I've seen this situation on multiple occasions where the couples look very happy and don't look like anything is going on. But I want to, I want y'all to, I want y'all to look at something really close. This is why I always say, and before I get to this part, I always tell people, marry people for the right reasons. Don't marry people so you can be accepted or so you can have a position or anything like that. Marry people for the right reasons. That's it. So anyways, y'all pay attention to this story. So I listened to the video that the pastor had gave and okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, so I listened to the story that the pastor had gave and I thought it was very interesting because, hold on, I thought it was very interesting because I'm sitting here reading this article and it says that Elder Robert was arrested and his wife, Minister Tanika, or Tanisha, I'm sorry, is dead. Their Casey family agonizes. So, okay, I'm reading the story and I'm listening to the video. And the more I read it, the more, like I said, the situation sounds too familiar. So, here's what's going on. So, they actually, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, they actually got married 2016. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, they got married 2016. They were engaged 2015. So then there, there's a call of domestic violence that's brought to the home. And when they get to the home, they find the husband there by himself. Very interesting, right? So there's a call of domestic violence. And when you get there, nobody's there but the husband. So either A, the wife is gone and she left because she's upset or B, something else is going on. So then the, the police said that there was some suspicious, they were suspect of things that were going on and stuff like that. And so they're really looking at this. And then around 2 a.m., let me make sure I had this right. Around 2 a.m., wait, let me go back to it. Hold on. Here we go. They were called to the home about 4 p.m. on Monday for a domestic violence disturbance. Then around 2 a.m., the Raymore Police Department reported and the Raymore and Belton officers met at 163rd Street and Kentucky Road to secure a crime scene in Overland Park in Johnson County investigators. So apparently the, the woman's body is somewhere else. So then everybody at the church, everybody at the church, hear me, everybody at the church is like, oh my God, they were just the loveliest couple. Oh my Lord. Oh my, they were just a beautiful couple. Oh. 
Where are the people that's supposed to have spiritual eyes? Where are the people that's supposed to have spiritual discernment? See, I, I've been saying this all along and people, I don't care, but you're so people are so busy in saying negative things, but you're not listening. You need to have spiritual ears because there are people that can be in danger. And if you are somebody who is spiritual and those that are spiritual need to be able to rest restore somebody and somebody could have this, this young woman's life could have been saved. Hello, somebody, this, this lady's life could have really been saved. If someone had have just tapped into this, everybody want to be a prophet. Hello, hello, somebody. Everybody want to be a prophet. Everybody want to have a word from the Lord. Everybody want to come on in this line. God got a word. Everybody got so much to say. God is speaking to everybody. But where are the people that's supposed to be inclined to have some spiritual discernment? I I'm just saying. This woman was 38 years old. She was an associate pastor at this particular church. Her husband was 30 years old. So in the congregation of the saints, <laughs> in the congregation of the saints, nobody understands what's going on. Nobody. I see you, Marcel. Nobody says anything all they know is, oh, they're just such a beautiful couple. Oh, we love her. Oh my gosh, she's so energetic. So let's 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 really back in. Let's look past the energetic preacher and understand. I did acknowledge you, Marcel. I see you. <laughs> let's 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 move back all of this and let's understand that even though this young woman was getting up with energy and very vibrant. She had something going on on the inside and then there's something not only going on on the inside, there's something going on at home. There's something going on with her husband. So then let's ask the questions. What made this situation come to be like this? What's going on y'all? Everybody come on in, share the video. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Um. What makes this, what, what, what brought this situation to be this? Because now the husband's being charged for, I believe it was second degree murder. I'm going to make another video about this, but the husband is being charged with first or second degree murder. Let me get this right. Mm hmm. Hold on, y'all. Yep. He's being charged with murder. He's being charged with murder. So, again, I ask the question. It goes back to the foundation of everything. While you individuals who sit in these positions at these churches are pushing people to get married. You don't know what you're pushing people to get married into. First of all, if you're not spiritual enough to see who these people are, you need to be counseling them. And those who are spiritual need to see what people are really dealing with. If you are really spiritual. But this woman is dead because somebody did not have spiritual eyes and spiritual ears because the word does say this, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit say to the church. Now this woman is dead because somebody just wanted to see somebody married because oh, they look so cute together. Oh, honey, this is the fundamentals of the black church. Let's push them to get married because they look cute. Push them to get married. Oh, y'all look cute. Go get married, yes. Go on, girl. Yeah, y'all look so cute together. Y'all gonna have some pretty babies. Yes, y'all is. Woo! Now she did. Now she did because y'all was so worried about looks. Y'all was so worried about 
Oh, y'all look good. Y'all would do great ministry together. Now she did. There is something on the inside of people that pushes people to do certain things. You never, okay, first of all, there was, there was a call of domestic violence, meaning that there was a rumble going on in that home, okay? So then two things that we have to understand and pinpoint, and these are only my opinions, these are only my um, assumptions, okay? I know we say assumptions make an ass out of ourselves, but that's all we can do at this point because all we know is this man, Robert Harris, is being charged with murder. Okay, y'all feel me? So he is being charged with murder. So let's let's look at the facts. Let's look at the situation. So if there is a call for domestic violence, then here, here we go here. Here we go here. What's going on, y'all? Come on in. 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 So here's the situation. This is not the first time. Okay, so understand that if this woman, if there's a call for domestic violence at 4 p.m. And all this stuff is going on, this is not the first time that there was an altercation. Do you feel, do, do, you, do you hear what I'm saying? This is not the first time that there is a uh, situation of domestic violence an altercation between husband and wife. So let's understand. So everybody's played a part in this. Everybody's played a part in this. And you need to feel somewhat sorry for this young lady because everybody's played a part. You're also worried about looks and you ain't got no more spirit than a man in the moon because you're pushing somebody to get married and you don't understand that maybe this man has a temper and he has a violent temper and he don't know how to handle his temper. Now you've pushed this young lady to get married to a man with a violent, uncontrollable temper. Okay, y'all feel what I'm saying? So now, now the whole church community is mourning this 38 year old woman who was a, a vibrant, vivacious woman Hey, y'all, a vibrant, vivacious woman who was a, a charismatic preacher and everything like that. Now she did. Now, now she did. Now she did. I keep saying this stuff over and over again. I keep saying it over and over again. I'm going to need the people who call themselves real deep in the Lord. I'm going to need you to really get deep. Not just speak it, but live it. You get mad because I say these things, but why don't you try to walk it? Just, just consider, consider what I'm saying. Because again, I said this before, I said this last year. I said, if y'all think Tanika Jenkins, if y'all think, uh, was it, Kanika Jenkins is going to be the only one that's going to happen like this, maybe it's going to be some more people. People are, these, these pastors are dropping dead in church. And you don't understand the reason why. You don't understand the reason why. They have drug addictions. They have uh, 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 um, mental problems, mental illnesses. But nobody wants to deal with it because all they say is pray. I'm not saying go get on some medicine, but everybody wants to say pray. But why don't we come together and deal with the issue at hand? Why don't we come together and do a little kumbaya? Come on by here, y'all. Come on by here, because we need you to step in this here situation right now, right now, nigga. We need you to step in this situation, because now we have a young lady that's 38 years old. She's dead. Her body's in the morgue, because somebody would, who's supposed to have spiritual eyes and spiritual ears and somewhat of a spiritual in-depth understanding of the things of God, well, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the problem. You have an understanding of God, but not the God. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, y'all, like this video, share this video, um, 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 tell somebody about it because there's going to be more to come. I appreciate you all for, uh, for
for following. I appreciate you all for, you know, doing what y'all do. Um, please like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Tell somebody about the channel. Come on, y'all. You know, this is what we do. We talk about this. Hey, love, how you doing? So, y'all, anyways, um, this story, I'm going to go uh, give you some more detail in this story. I just think that it's, it's very sad that a 38-year-old woman married this 30-year-old man and... I don't think that she really had an in-depth understanding of what she was getting into. Now, that's just my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. Sean, <laughs> I don't, that's, that's my personal opinion. Because me personally, thinking a lot of young ladies get caught up in the fact of, I want to be married. I want to be married. It's going to look good. But baby, there's more to being married to just being than just being married. Hey, brother, how you doing? There's more to it. Because nowadays, nowadays, you got all type of stuff you got to deal with. All type of stuff. I talk about, I can really talk about this because I saw this stuff. I love you too. I saw this stuff before my very eyes with so many different people. They look good on the outside. They look good on the outside, but you never know what's going on behind those doors at their dwelling place. You never know. You never know. This woman might have been getting thumped, thumped upside her head on a regular. Come to church, face beat, looking like amazing million dollars, and y'all don't even know what's going on. Because y'all looking on the outside, and you're jumping and dancing and... <laughs> I mean, you doing all of this right here. You doing all of this right here. And this woman is going back home to a violent situation. Where, where's all that spirit now? Where's all that Holy Ghost now? Where's all that eco bo 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 shanda e come on no 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 shinny ni 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 skinny marinky dinky do how are you? I mean, where, where's all of that Holy Ghost now? Where's that Holy Ghost? Now here's a dead woman, but you got so much Holy Ghost, you got so much spirit that you can't even see the fact that after that Sunday morning service that y'all had a stomp down, drag out, shit, cold boat, CK, take, y'all had all of this going on, but after that Sunday morning service, the Holy Ghost didn't speak to you and tell you that you need to touch and agree right now and bind that murdering spirit? The Holy Ghost didn't speak to you? Pastor, pastor, the Holy Ghost didn't speak to you? I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to have an understanding. I'm trying to have an understanding here because this woman is dead. Where are the spiritual leaders to be able to say, hey, 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 y'all two come here. We need, we need to touch and agree and pray right now. They've been married over a year. They've been married over a year. There's fault in so many areas. Nobody's responsible for the killing, but the person who did it. But what about the people who are supposed to be the spiritual leaders? This is the situation right here that I have. They went to church on Sunday morning. I felt another wind. Woo! I felt another one. I had another one. And another one. First of all, they went to church on Sunday morning. Had church, undoubtedly. So where are the people... That while we bucking and jumping and and shut our while we doing all of this, where are the spiritual people that are supposed to be able to see? See, okay. Now you got prophets, you got seers, okay, honey. It, it all, honey. Whether you got witches, warlocks, sorcerers, soothsayers, honey, it all worked the same. Where are the folks that's supposed to be able to see this stuff? Where are the where are the people that were shaking her hand 
before they went home. Where are the folks that's supposed to be able to see past today and see tomorrow and be able to say, you know what? I need, I need to pray with y'all real quick. I, I, I need to tell you something. A brother, XYZ, XYZ. Sister, XYZ, XYZ. Where are those people at? Where are they? Where are the people when these pastors are winding up dead? Hello? Where are those pastors? Where are the people who are supposed to be spiritually inclined to tell you when something is wrong? I can tell you about a house and a car. I can tell you about God finna do this and God, ew, my mama shit cake. That, ooh, that felt real. <laughs> Where are those people? Y'all flocking to these daggone conferences and stuff like that. But y'all flocking for materialistic things. But what about your soul? What about your soul? What, what about your soul? Somebody is dead, but you worried about houses and cars. The Bible says, what profit a man that gained the whole world yet lose his own soul? You got a nice car, but you did. You got a beautiful family, lasted for about two, three years. Now you did. I, I, I'm just saying, just as much, thank you, Robert, just as much as you are spiritual, you have a natural side. So I'm going to need you, I'm going to need your natural to meet your spiritual. Bring the mugs together. And open up your spiritual eyes. Half y'all talking about y'all flocking around here to this foolishness. Talking about I got a third eye. I got to see with my third eye. Well, I'm gonna need you to open up your your eyes, all of them, and I'm gonna need you to see past what you see right here on the flesh and see the spirit. Hmm. Huh? You got so much Holy Ghost, and everybody out here claiming to be prophets and anointed and all these things like that. I'm gonna need you to tap in. Be what you calling yourself. You want to be a prophet? I'm going to need you to be prophetic right now. Hello? Hello? Hmm? Good morning. I'm going to need you to be prophetic right now. That's all I'm talking about. I'm going to need you to be prophetic right now. Thank you, Tracy. I'm sure, I'm sure a pastor probably told her. And I'm, you know what? Now, that's a good point. That's a good point, Tracy. Some of y'all pastors know what's going on in these homes. Now, that's a good point. Some of y'all pastors know exactly what's going on in these homes. And you sit there and you tell these women or these men, oh, stay there and just pray. Y'all got to pray. Y'all got to pray. Okay, this is about the fifth time we didn't call the police. And this is about the fifth time he or she didn't put their hands on me. See, I'm not trying to wake up the next morning with a slit throat. I'm not trying to wake up the next morning if I wake up with some object stabbed in my body, okay? This, this is what I'm talking about. See, you telling these individuals to stay in these relationships that they were never meant to be in in the first place. Hello? See, this is the type of stuff. Y'all don't like this. You don't like this. Y'all like this. God gonna move and, and, and God and, and oh, blah, 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 blah. CK what is all that gonna do? What is what is it gonna do? Y'all pastors push these people to stay in these relationships, and you've already counseled these people five, 10, 15, 20 times, and they go back home and they're violent to each other, and now somebody's dead. You didn't told somebody to stay in a relationship. Now you gotta bury somebody, and now you gotta go up here and visit somebody in prison. Ugh. Hello. Now, now, now you gonna have you gonna have to roll the very person that you married down the altar to funeralize her, and you didn't sit up here. Oh, just stay, just stay, because out of all them tears, out of all them tears, somebody said something somewhere. Somebody said some ain't right. Some ain't right. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody said something. Pastors, now this ain't, maybe ain't just ain't him, but this is that pastors are large. 
This is at pastors at large. You know because either the wife and told you something, or or the husband and said something, or somebody that said something, and you still say, "Stay, work it out. It's gonna be okay. God's gonna make a way out of no way." She kobo cite. Now you gotta funeralize somebody. Now you gotta funeralize somebody. Now you gotta funeralize somebody. There's more to this story. There's more that's gonna come out. There, maybe the man had another wife. Maybe the man had a, a, another girlfriend. <laughs> hey, let's go and throw it out there. Maybe he had a boyfriend. Maybe he would like to sleep around. And she found out about it. And she got fed up. And now she was sick and tired of it. And she was putting them hands on him. And he killed her. This is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. I got a right to say my opinion. You said she caught him in the bed with another man. Listen, I'm, you know, hey, this, this stuff is happening now. This stuff is happening now. Okay? This, this, this stuff is happening now. And it's getting real. It's getting it's getting real out here. But again, y'all, this is sad. This is somebody's sister, friend, best friend, good, 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 good girlfriend, all this other stuff like that. But where were these people at? Where, where were these people at? I, I just I just wanna where were her good, 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 good Judy's? Where, where were they at? Where, where the good girlfriends at? You know, where, where, where was the best friend at? Who talked with her in the, in, the, in the intimate times? Or was she taken away from all her friends? I, I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, hold on. I've been talking a good minute. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. We're going to have more to this story. Thank you. Like and subscribe the video. Like the video. Share the video. Tag the video. Um, send it to somebody's inbox. Somebody need to hear this. Send it to the pastor. <laughs> um, it's going to be on YouTube. So, boom. Uh, love y'all. Let's go and get into it. Go to the YouTube. Make sure y'all share it. Share it about four or five times on the YouTube. I love y'all. Holla at y'all. Peace out. King Jobs in the building, y'all. <laughs> what you say? Motherfucker time. What? Motherfucker time. You what? Motherfucker time. What? I'm motherfucker time. Motor sport. Yeah. Put that thing in sport. Shout it bad. Pop a like a court.